Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are gonna learn how to use YOLO Volume 5 with C++ and also uh, since this is based on Python, also the model format is PyTorch, we need to convert this into the Onyx format which is compatible with C++ and OpenCV. So this is the one important one for this YOLO Volume 5 for C++. Uh, first of all, maybe we can clone this uh, repo into our uh, folder and just open a terminal and git clone and just paste it's gonna uh, download and after when it is downloading we can talk about the bug there is a bug uh, if you directly try in your case if the the uh, torch versions is not compatible you are gonna get error according to uh, this one already I also get because my all the versions were newer but there are some uh, package conflicts so I at the end I need to uh, download, I need to get these versions. So I switched all my Torch version and Torch Vision Audio and kind of things into the, these uh, specific formats. Otherwise I was getting always the same error. Okay, this is done. I get my YOLO Volume 5 folder. So also I can show you the, my pip list. So people can, if get any error, they can copy my uh, versions. In here the most important one is Torch and Torch Vision. So the others I think not really related. But you can check. Yeah, these are my PIP versions. Why this is important? Uh, if you try different versions, I think you will get the same error which is mentioned in here. Okay, after this is done. Uh, the second thing is also, maybe we can, there is a comment I paste. Okay, just copy this one and paste here. Okay, sorry. I need to enter to the related folder. Just paste. Okay. Okay. What is this gonna do? It's just gonna download the PyTorch model into the folder, which is, I think, after it's done. Yeah, here. And it's gonna convert to Onyx or not. But since the versions I switched, now they are not supporting the offset version, Onyx offset version. So again, I need to enter to this export Python. And in here there is a 17. I need to change this accordingly to 12, which is the last supported one. And I need to run again. Now hopefully it's gonna give me the Onyx format. So these are some two errors I already uh, met. So I'm telling you, you can easily pass these issues. So this is the Onyx format I need in the code part. Also I need this Cocon names, which is the standard egg the labels, egg the objects, which is uh, you are able to detect so these are also another txt i need in the code path. so basically i need this also i need onyx format these two uh models i'm gonna use in the code part for the code uh there are you can find many code in the internet which is uh basically just uh using this onyx format and giving you the result but i already found a solution found a repo in here so i'm using this one i already copied to my qt and I'm going to explain simply what this is doing. But maybe we can see the result first of all. Okay. Uh, you see. Hi. And here it's detecting me. And also I have a cup. Sometimes saying banana. But mostly saying cup. We can play with the configurations. But yeah. It's working fine. And it's working faster. So uh, yeah. YOLO is. Uh, you know from the fast. The, the specific property is being faster. But currently I'm using CUDA. Even I make it's CPU okay so currently I was using CPU sorry now I'm gonna switch to the GPU okay I think there is not much difference so because in both since this is a light model and YOLO is faster so we are not noticing clearly this is CPU or GPU but yeah if you your you don't have GPU or you you didn't install OpenCV compatible with CUDA you can even use your CPU. Uh, yeah, we can little talk about code part so we can understand what it's doing. In here, uh, in the in this function, I'm just inserting all the labels, all the object names into the, this class list. And here I'm reading the uh, my camera. And after this, I'm defining a network from DNN of OpenCVV. And here I'm deciding the First of all, I'm uploading the model, Onyx model into the uh, network. And after that, I'm checking, I'm deciding which device I'm going to use, which backend I'm going to use. 
accordingly for CUDA this one, for GPU and for CPU this one. This tool function is just doing inserting and the loading the network. And after that, uh, where is my main? Okay, here. After that, I'm just entering to a while. I'm reading each frame. And uh, the most important function is this one. I'm giving into this function my frame, mat type of frame, a network. I'm giving output. This detection is including um, IDs, which is going to be detected at the end. From 0 to 79, it's going to give me a number. And the precious percentage is going to be given. And box, uh, where it is detected, uh, it's going to give me this detection struct vector accordingly at the end. And also, I'm giving my class list. And let's go to the function. Um, here, the standard network things is doing just blob from image giving the but uh, yeah this part i need to talk this is basically just converting your input image into the squared image why squared image because uh yolo is uh, since uh trained with the squared images squared kind of images 640 to 640 this part is important if you give your input image as squared the detection pressures is gonna increase accordingly so this is important even you can give the give your image directly without pre-processing but uh, this guy is doing just converting it to square uh, squared but not directly resizing it's not also suggested it's just uh, creating a black image squared black image according to the uh, bigger which one bigger width or height according to that one it's just creating a squared image and after that copying the input image into the square some part is gonna remain black but it's not it can be ignorable it's just gonna decrease the time but we can ignore it because it's not really uh much so yeah basically converting input image into a square for precious result and after that as i said it's getting the blobs from the network and setting the blob uh, and with the forward function getting the outputs so this part starting the important and the complicated part but i'm gonna try to explain clearly um yeah this x and y factor we can talk later uh it's just getting the output data and this output data is gonna include maybe i can say 25200 element how i know that because if i go here the yeah the export pie already telling me the shape of the output is gonna be like this and uh, the every step every result is gonna be given as 85 what this 85 is meaning actually um, this 85 element the first 85 element is gonna be telling like this for example in here from 0 to 3 it's gonna give me the x uh, x center of x of the detected rectangle then y the second element then width height in here you see the fourth element and the fifth element which is in here uh this is gonna give me the confidence but not specific to the label just confidence if this is bigger than any number currently i just defined as 40 percentage so there is something inside the image detected we just gonna know that so this is confidence we can say and the following 80 numbers because you see this is 5 number which is we are talking about we need 85 number 85 element the first step so the following 80 numbers is gonna represent the score of each label each object for example the first one is person the second one is I don't know banana let's say and continue according to the 80 these are all numbers by the way flat numbers so these are gonna give me the confidence of each label so first you need you get a general confidence if you pass this step after that for each uh label you can get the um score for each label so this is continuing in that way so 85 comes from there and 25 it means it gives you many result many blobs maybe we can call it, many rectangles so with this data you need to handle and you need to get the desired data you need yeah this part that's why a little complicated but i think i'm clear so we can continue 
First of all, it's getting the general confidence. Currently, this is uh, I defined as I think as G. Where is that? Yeah, this is 0 0.4, which is 40 percentage. If the general confidence is bigger than that, now I can get, for example, data plus five, which means uh, also with this class name size is 80. So it's gonna get the following 80 numbers, which is this one. And it's gonna, uh, basically it's just making a calculation for, to be able to use this min max log. Uh, you can uh, check my video about this function I already made, I believe. And in here it's just getting the scores and getting the maximum class score and also getting the uh, class ID. So then uh, it's gonna be able to get, okay, uh, this class ID detected with this score and this score should be this is the second threshold you see in here I made it uh, is uh, is already made uh, 0 0.2 which is 20 percent this is small that's why at the beginning when we try the code even my cup sometimes is saying banana and kind of so we need to increase this let's say 0 0.4 yeah after the second is done it's now getting the this x y width and height so but you know right these are the um not given as directly this is for example start from 20 so it's given as flood type of percentage factor type so you can also check my yolo video which is yolo training video in there i'm explaining how this x y width and height this is a standard format of the training things so uh you need to in some way convert those flawed numbers to the meaningful numbers for example left top width and height because that's why in here there is a logic about the factors x and y factors yeah then at the end everything is easy just pushing the boxes and then here is just filling this detection struct and everything is done it's coming into the here just making the last step putting rectangle around the object and everything is done so yeah only complicated part in here because people are confusing in here you can find any kind of code like this because there are many in the internet you can use also uh, you can copy this guy repo as I did yeah this is just you don't need to know the details but in sometimes you need to know because how it's coming to us let's run the code one more we just change the score threshold so I believe my cup shouldn't be banana anymore but sometimes still making remote is saying but yeah we can change we can play with this confidence threshold you can play according to yours basically i just in this video i just want to because for some projects i need this yolo volume 5 also um, i'm gonna i'm planning to try others since we are using c plus plus i needed this one but i get as always we did there are some bugs errors conflicts so i just wanted to share with you because yeah i already tried you can easily continue yeah just this bug and that 17 should be 12 yeah okay then maybe also we can make training of this yolo volume 5 later as like we did before about yolo volume 4 yeah thank you for watching see you in the next videos